Hey guys, it's Mashley. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it is your first time. And if it's your first time, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I come to you today from the parking lot of Target, one of my favorite places. I've been doing some decorating around the house, or redecorating I should say, and I decided I needed a few new pieces. So to switch things up, instead of going to Target and buying things, which I normally do, I'm gonna go to Target for inspo today and we're gonna be making our very own DIY Target decor. I'm super excited. We're gonna be shooting this vlog style today. So let me know in the comment section if you like how this video goes. But without further ado, let's go to Target. You guys so we're back and of course my plans were completely soiled on our very first trip to Target and I'm truly sorry I had no clue that back to school was gonna be so insane they had absolutely nothing on the shelves like you guys saw so I just ended up going on the Target circle app on my phone and I just started going through decor on the way home and I found three pieces that I'd like to recreate today the very first thing that we're gonna be creating today are these framed maps that I saw on the Target app, but we're just gonna be doing one. The second piece that I found is actually gonna be a combination of two. I found um, one that was a scribble art painting, and I almost decided to do that. I'll flash that up on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But then I also saw this really cute Bless Our Nest um, canvas, so I think I'm gonna kind of mash the two together and we're gonna see how that works for us later. The third and final piece that we're gonna be making today is actually a wooden garland. You guys are gonna laugh at me, but I have this bad habit of just buying crafty things and I'm like, yeah, I can use this for something later. And one of them is actually a little wood bead kit. So I had it at home already. I saw it on the app and I said, I absolutely have to make a mini version of this. So that'll be our third project. I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned on the channel, but I am from Rhode Island. And so as I was scrolling through the Target app and I found the framed map set, I immediately knew I wanted it to be a map of Rhode Island. So I hopped over on Etsy and I've done this a few times before where I've gone and I've purchased instant downloadable prints. And so I just searched for Rhode Island maps and I landed on one that I really, really enjoyed from Earth Squared. Shout out to her, amazing shop. And I just sent the print over to Costco, also a huge Costco lover, and got that printed in a 12 by 16. So all we're gonna do is take that print and put it in the frame and voila. This is the frame that I picked up from Ikea and what we're gonna be using. And this, is the print that we got made on Etsy. Costco did, I'm oh, sorry for the glare. Costco did an amazing job printing this out for us. So we're gonna go ahead and put it together. You guys, I love it. Quick little shout out, all of our friends and family who are still living in Rhode Island, we love and miss you guys dearly. This is gonna be up in the house as a representation of y'all. So love you so much. Okay, on to the next one. Like I mentioned earlier, the second project is technically a mashup of two Target decor pieces. So what I chose to do was take the frame and the brown paper from the scribble art piece and the bless our nest kind of writing um, and calligraphy. So that's what we're gonna be mashing up today. I picked up this natural frame wood, wood? I picked up this natural wood frame from Ikea. So we'll be using that. And then for the background, I have this brown packaging wrapping paper. To write and do our calligraphy, I picked up these brush pens, also from Target. All right, so I have our Target decor piece up on my phone here, and I went ahead and just stenciled out how I want it to look on the brown paper. 
What we're gonna do is take the brush pen and we're gonna go ahead and kind of trace it. So it's just plain cursive. I did the best that I could and hopefully it comes out cute. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go over it one more time just to make it a little bit more thick. Okay, you guys, here's how we're looking. Time to frame her. Okay, here's number two. I think it came out so cute. I'm sorry for the glare. I think that this came out super, super cute. Exactly what I was envisioning when I wanted to kind of mash the two up and I just love it. I can't wait to put it in the house. On to number three. All right, last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and do our wooden bead garland. I know I mentioned I had the beads already, but I purchased a pack offline on Amazon that came with three different sides of beads. And it even came with its own little, I guess we call this twine. The only other thing that I added was I have these other smaller twine pieces from a different little project. I'm gonna use these for the tassels. So aside from that, that's pretty much all you need. I'll link the bead kit that I purchased off of Amazon in the description box for you guys as well. So we'll go ahead and get started. The garland that I found on Target is actually 96 inches long. We are not making 96 inches worth of a garland. Like I mentioned, we're gonna do a mini one. So I landed on five feet. That's gonna end up being the mini version. So I have our twine kind of already measured out. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut at the five foot mark. I'm gonna leave that on the side in case we need it. So I'm trying to think what I can do to make this easy. I think I'm just gonna tape down the end here, just so when we add on the beads, they're not gonna fall all over the place because this is gonna be very long. Taking a look at the one from Target, it looks like they have all different shapes. We're just gonna be using the um, round circular shapes in the kit that I purchased here, but they are different sizes, so I gotta come up with a good pattern. I want to start with, I feel like a big one. So I'm kind of just gonna go through the motions and we'll end up with the pattern. Already the fibers were coming undone at the tip as I was putting it inside of the bead. So I just went ahead and added some tape at the end. We're gonna hope for the best. Big, two medium, four small, one medium, two small, one big. Hug, hug, geese, geese. Hug, hug, beat keys, little hug, keys, keys, little keys. Oh no, oh no, oh no. All right, I think the garland is done. I have enough beads on here that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that tape we added at the beginning to help as a guide. So it looks like they just made a little loop at the end of the main garland and knotted it pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same. This is gonna stop, I think, the beads from coming undone. Okay, here's our two loops. The very last thing to do for the garland is to create the tassels. I'm gonna set this stuff aside, clean up our station a little bit so I don't have any more fiascos, and we'll get this stuff ready so we can create our tassels. All right, station is all clean. And I'm just taking a look at the one from Target to see how we should go about doing this. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just take one of the small pieces of twine and I'm going to tie a knot. We'll knot it underneath so you can't see that. There we go, kind of giving us a little bit of a loop. We'll do the same with this guy. So the goal is gonna be to kind of hide the little knot piece right underneath here. So you can't even see it. And then it'll be left with like a little loop, almost like a Christmas ornament. Aw. All right, and from here, once we hide those in, they're pretty good. Kind of just gonna separate the rest of this, fluff this out. You wanna make sure that the twine is kind of even on both sides. So what I'm doing is kind of just holding on to the loop on one side and tugging down on the other side. I'm trying to kind of tighten the top and pinch it. We're gonna take another piece of twine. We're gonna wrap this around a few times. So you're left with like a couple small pieces and then we can make a knot. You wanna make this piece nice and tight. 
So it looks like the one from Target, they have the main knot at the top and then it looks like they did that a couple more times. Because this is gonna be a mini version, I think I'm only gonna do it maybe one more time. We'll do that same little detail one more time right here. And I mean, you could leave it with those little pieces hanging out. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them out. All right, one little tassel all done. How cute. All right, now that our tassels are done, this is gonna be super, super easy, but I think all they did, if I'm looking at the picture, I think all they did by creating that loop at the top was slip this through. And cool. And she's attached. Here we are. I love this so much more than I thought I would. It'll ruler cow. You guys, how, why have I never thought to do this before? Okay, no shade to the other two frame pictures, but this might be my new favorite decor piece. I just love it. The unfinished wood um, kind of look, the little tassels at the end. It was so easy to make. I highly encourage you guys to make this at home. If you wanted, you could even stain the beads and give it a really cool design. Um, but I think that this is gonna, I have the perfect spot for it, I already know. Well, that was it. Here are the three pieces that we recreated. Target decor inspired, of course. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the vlog style. Again, let me know in the comment section, should we do more like this kind of behind the scenes as I'm kind of shopping for materials? Let me know. Also, let me know if there's anything else that you guys saw online or in the store that you think I would be good at recreating. I think I might even make this a mini series. Stay tuned, definitely stay tuned. But thank you guys so much again. Please remember to like and subscribe and also hit the notification bell while you're at it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.